Alan Weisselberg really knows that he's got the heat coming right now, especially when you have somebody who is as seasoned a lawyer as Mark Pomerantz. Um, Alan Weisselberg, I want to be clear, though, is not the primary target in this investigation. And like what happened to me, he will unfortunately or fortunately, depending upon uh, which way you see it, he will become collateral damage. But it's not just Alan Weisselberg that's going to be collateral damage. It's going to be his two sons as well. Barry, who worked for the company dealing with Woman Rink and Laska Rink and the carousel. And Jack Weisselberg, who was involved with Ladder Capital with the two loans that were given to the Trump organization. So Alan has a choice. The choice is, do you want to spend the golden years of your life behind bars while remaining loyal to Donald Trump, knowing that Trump would absolutely 100 percent not be loyal to him? Or are you going to allow yourself and your sons to go to prison versus pass along the information and try to get yourself some sort of leniency. Knowing that that documentary evidence is already in the hands of the district attorney and the attorney general, you're not going to escape it. So what's the smart move? We all lied in order to protect Donald. The problem, though, is that there are documents that show opposite, that I wasn't the only one that lied in the creation of that document. It was Ivanka and Jared and the lawyers and Seculo and Cobb and you name it, but Abby Law, all of them were involved. It is that that information is already in the hands of those people that are seeking the cooperation of Alan Weisselberg. But you know, Ari, I always on your show, I always say something which is uh, a little bit different than everybody else. I believe Alan has already cooperated and is actively cooperating with the district, the district attorney's office. I truly believe it. The same thing that happened to me to happen to him and to his children. We also have to look at the facts that's already out there. They brought in Jeff McConney, the assistant controller, a man who works yep. solely for Alan Weisselberg for over 30 some odd years. Jeff doesn't want to go to prison either. So do you think he didn't corroborate documentary evidence that they had on Alan Weisselberg? And now they're presenting it to Alan and saying to him, listen, right. you're not going to win this. Let me be very clear. You are not. Not only do we have you, we have issues with how you receive compensation, your son, your other son regarding loans made to the Trump organization. You're really in a, you're really in a, a as Alan Weisselberg, his favorite word, you have a conundrum. Because, look, at the end of the day, this is not just about Alan Weisselberg and his kids. You know, to Donald Trump himself, there's Don Jr., there's Ivanka, there's Jared, there's Eric, there's, you know, there's Rudy. There's a whole group of people that are being looked at. This is not just, hey, let's let's figure out how to flip Alan Weisselberg because Alan Weisselberg is the key. Alan Weisselberg is a key, but he is not the sole key. And that's why, I, again, yeah. I believe that he is going to provide whatever information that the DA's office wants, because if he doesn't and doesn't capture the immunity, somebody else will give it. It's just that simple.